It is important to know how design works in our mind. The fundamental theory used in analyzing how art is organized in our perception is Gestalt laws, theorized by Max Wertheimer, an Austro-Hungarian psychologist. To understand his law, it is useful to read on several studies where the theory was applied. In Terran, 150 billboard designs were analyzed by using Delphi method. It is simply a method of arriving at conclusion by using a group consensus from a panel of experts. In this case, a panel of experts studied the billboards and came up with a group conclusion in the end. The team of researchers figured that each Gestalt laws correspond to a specific design principles. Here is an illustration of the correspondence between the two concepts. We need to establish that bill billboard advertisements aim to catch attention of lookers who are always on the move, while maintaining that there is a general principle that perception is known to work. With the help of this research, we can centralize our analysis of visual graphics on Gestalt laws, which can clearly explain the visual phenomenon of visual graphics and how they register into the mind and how the principles of design which were founded on by many artists during the Bauhaus period influence the overall appearance of graphics. The Bauhaus School of Design Architecture and Applied Arts in the 1930s taught all kinds of artists, painters, sculptors, architects, and graphic designers. The latter were taught how to use typography to improve the design of letters on posters. Furthermore, a set of observations from the same research team identified the common perceptual factors that help companies with regard to how best to uphold the advertising intent and clearly manifest their messages to their clients. Perception is dynamic. A lot of extra elements could serve as perceptual noises. The benefit of having to go through the details of how elements influence perception positively is being able to always convey the intended message without aberration or compromising the company. Our perception is limited. When there is visual omission in an image that is supposed to be whole and complete, our mind compensates by, br by bridging the gap and generally all visual information that we perceive are simplified in our mind by clustering together related images. The set of categories that best express our ability to cluster image is Gestalt laws. Royal Blue Cup Coffee Logo this logo exhibits similarity through recurring circular spaces created by rounded frames or borders in blue. The stars repeat with a, s a single star receiving an emphasis of scale right there at the middle. Curve line that serves as an icon of steam from the hot coffee also repeats three times over the coffee icon. The coffee bean shape at both sides of the rounded logo gives the feeling of similarity when you look over from side to side. Included in the similarity is the laurel leaf, doubled at the base of the coffee icon to add a base framing. With regard to proximity, it is easy to group together the text in the logo. One grouping is composed of the words royal, blue, and cup while another textual grouping with a single word coffee is placed at the base of the circular border. The logo uses figure ground principle, alternating between transparency and blue icons. Reading the image horizontally reveals its horizontal symmetry, having both sides with equal visual masses or having similar details. From what we analyzed, we can conclude that the law of similarity coordinates with the design principles of repetition and unity. Thus, repeated images present visual coherence and familiarity across the logo. The Miralco logo. What we notice first on the Miralco logo is that it uses figure ground law with alternating vivid orange and white background. A huge M, the initial letter of Miralco, 
is apparently formed by the contrast between white ground and orange ground. The white ground automatically becomes the positive space because it covers majority of the area, while the negative space is assigned to the orange space. Under the laws of perception, our mind picks up the large and the most meaningful image as the positive space or the figure. In this figure, an additional image is formed, that of a lightning icon. The clever thing is that the lightning icon is in orange. Once we focus on this icon, the figure and the ground shift roles. The orange space can become the figure considering the lightning icon. From what we observed, figure ground perception is related to the positive and negative spaces that we use in analyzing space. Thus, when we speak of the figure, it is the outcome of the norm of meaningful versus less meaningful spaces, whereby the former positive spaces are where artists concentrate on building the image that will serve as the subject.